The Sneetches by Dr. Seuss and Naomi. The star-bellied Sneetches had bellies with stars. The plain-bellied Sneetches had none upon theirs. The stars weren't so big. No, no, they were small. Such a thing should not matter at all. But whenever the star-bellied Sneetches played ball, the plain-bellied Sneetches, they could not play at all. Nor picnics, nor parties, nor marshmallow roasts. The plain-bellied Sneetches ate toast. The star-bellied Sneetches were mean. They left them out on the dark and cold beaches, just sitting there and wishing their bellies had stars, just wishing and hoping for stars upon theirs. Then someone drove up in the strangest of cars. He said, My name is McMonkey Bean, and I come at great speed, and my prices are guaranteed. So come into my star on machine. In again, out again, round and about again, changing their stars every minute or two, till neither this one, nor that one, nor this one, nor that one, nor this one, nor that one, knew which one was who. Then, when the money was spent, McMonkey Bean packed up and he went, and he laughed as he rolled off those beaches. You can't teach those sneeches. But McMonkey Bean was quite wrong, I am quite happy to say, because the sneeches got pretty damn smart on that day. And now there are sneeches all over the beaches, and no kind of sneeches the best on the beaches. The end.